Hello everyone and welcome to another match of the 2022 Rural Travels World Championship and the final week of the group stage continues with group B match of Fusk versus Swastik and I'm just losing my train of thought already because I kept thinking what if Swastik doesn't go live but actually he did during the transition the five seconds of the transition but here we are and we will have a match so nothing to worry about and nothing to mention to the others less than a minute until we start with Haven Island chosen by Fusk and then Mendoza will be the second map selected by Svastik and uh, that's about it for preparation Roulette Rookie on the right hand side only the second Haven of their career so obviously we should be looking at a Haven from the previous matches of this tournament on the on the other side, it is Fusk with uh, 18 previous Haven appearances, which makes him the second second most experienced player in the community here, after Yanni's 22 maps. But if Fusk writes the story yourself. of this, oh my God. Dual starts in if Fusk seconds. writes the story of Nine, this Haven, eight, then of course we can see all seven, three outcomes we six, have seen from the six, five, seven, and five, four. but. Three, with 30 minute two, timer, the one. draw is the it's not really a shame, it's kind of a realistic possibility. Hopefully it doesn't happen here with this first spin. Tyson Williams, Lardus MG as snorkel instructor. Steven Bradley, pistol as personal trainer. Ludmila Vetrova, loud explosive weapon as waiter. Alright, just changing these sound levels up and you should be good to go. Loud SMG, Silence Pistol and the Car Bomb are all items you can find during the Tyson isolation. So it's technically a no loadout spin. But the trick of the spin is that if you do the Villa start then you can't start PT and grabbing that could be difficult as well as the Snorkel Instructor. So at least the Banana or a trank would be used to sedate, to pacify these individuals. And I think that's what Fusk is looking forward because he he had the banana in the loadout. He can pick up a second one here and that would work out very nicely for these two NPCs. Swazi, I'll try to Mr. call him Welcome to that Haven rather. Swazi, uh, starting main and uh, to Haven. Here is I think the if he starts P, you don't get the keys. Uh, if he start you on the right. Shark Hut, which I'm not sure what the master level for that start is, but you start with the keys, so it would be an even quicker agency pickup grab, but it's not really a map where the timings matter the all too much. Says he can get to this hut and make with me a sick and set up the loud explosion if the that's hate. what they want at first. Fast with always some interesting strategies to show. I think this tournament he started with uh, the Dubai remote isolation. Oh, I think he's getting spotted here, but just gives me more time to recap on the actual strat. So the Dubai is a, is a remote isolation with the banana and Fusk is also using a banana here to... I think to, to pacify Tyson by the time the bodyguard is gone. We won't really see it from <laughs> from close by, but it will be a remote isolation here as well, and should all go to plan. Okay, I mean, that's an important Tyson isolation, and from that point onward, the most someone needs to do is just to panic the two mates, and maybe shoot from camera if that wasn't taken care of already, but Fusk will take care of the evidence in just a minute's time. Svesi starting with the waiter. No isolation yet. Let's see uh, their internet is back to working conditions. I don't... Or, and, and their power is back. Don't want to overshare, but uh, there have been some reschedulings there in the past. But hopefully the final couple matches of Svensi's week can be done without any more hiccups. Fusk setting up the isolation and the one thing I didn't mention is the fact that it requires just a gun. Oh, man. Uh, as part of the loadout because then you also pick up the banana. 
so two items used, but one loadout slot required. And I think first we'll be looking back at Tyson, hopefully, so that we can <laughs> comment on the wow. uh, strategy's success. Do me a favor and see what that's about, would you? The bodyguard will be going that. down and Tyson as well. Oh, Swazi, I think that's gonna be spotted. He had turned red, trying to dodge the Vushis and almost getting the Vator in the process, but not quite. So we'll have to restart there. Which means that Fusk now has a two minute lead. And I think any moment now, unless we miss those, but yeah, <laughs> there are those pop ups. So I take down once and once more for the other NPC. Also, quite good timing for Steven. Mr. Reaper. Could probably use Island. a coin there, which okay. he do did already, Mr. to stop Welcome Steven to in his checks, but he doesn't it stop, which will make it a moving target. And, the one you on the right. and a different angle will be looked at here. I'm not going to trust the foliage there, or... I think this is rather the, the angle which he wants to use, and not the fact that it's in a concealed okay. area. But... Mr. Should be working out. This is going to be one heck of a shot to make, and he did make it. Very nice for Fusky. I'm not even sure. I think the Villagard is the enforcer in that question, so... Just a little dodging to do there. But it's not a chest passing area. So not the worst thing in the world. This is the personal trainer pistol kill. With the pistol already, and... shouldn't be, or nowadays it's not really a difficult or heavy grab on the PT, so can imagine that a banana or a trank will do the job, but it's 15 right now and no kills, but that should change in the next minute or so. Yep, there's another chain gun, and it has the same outline as the Seeker, so it has to be the Calmer 1 or 2, it's not the Tauntaun, but a sedative gun. Spazzy. With the isolation, and this container can hide both of these evators. So that's the disguise secured. Now, of course, just the Ludmilla ISO remaining. No secret shot has been made, has been done. But with these timings, and good that we mentioned last time around, it's like still two minute lead in game time wise. So it should be a couple more minutes until Svesti can make her sick in a way that she goes to the restaurant bathroom. She's He's approaching her regardless. Pask got the personal chain grab and silence pistol will mean that the first kill is done in a mere second's time. Nice heckle covert from this map. Always handy to have a silence pistol on map. And Fask with great progress already. The, the only non-loud kill done, SMG and the car bomb will be used later on. Hmm? Uh, Fusk needs to get a loud SMG from the villa. Uh, knowing his loadout, that was of course the Seeker and the Trank from a non-suit star. But it is the, the bodyguard himself who has the SMG. And the villa guard in the cinema has the loud AR. Just not needed for this spin, of course. So that's not gonna be troublesome for Fusk. And it's a non target on the bodyguard, so really just one target to hide. Fusk with a very important double KO to go and keep screen guns after it. Which means that. Ludilla can be blown up. Since the restaurant bathroom is soundproof, it won't be a last kill or an exit kill this time around. I don't know. I Just to needs to hit his secret yeah, shot on her. Svezi. A full on infiltration in Portman's hut. That's not something we see often. And should Svezi get this secret shot on her? Oh, hopefully he's hidden, but it's. Uh, that tray is not fully. Concealing Svez is so sadly that has to be a restart. What a novel idea though to get an ISO on Ludmilla on this hut. Sadly not meant to be in this run. 
Do you make his run a lot more difficult going forward because this was a good four minutes down the drain. These times we let up sadly. We'll see if uh, we can see a, a longer run of Swazi because Fusk is not an awful long Mr. Reaper. distance Welcome away from Haven finishing. Oh, please collect your key to the Mr. Reaper. Welcome to Haven! Okay, it's getting to close to this part. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. But Mr. Hand was sure. It's already hidden well enough. So he won't be a problem. And the resort guard is the only NPC who will ever get within two doors of Ludmilla. So once he's KO'd, this is a secured blood explosion kill. Could be loud. And it will be loud. Always appreciate it. From the players, one closed door, the other one as well. Lockdown don't mean a thing. Because uh -huh. that was followed by her demise shortly after. So that is one kill remaining, but still one disguise to grab. On the other hand, it's the stalker instructor where if you have a trank, you can you usually that, right? successfully isolate you, you him in the bushes. There, and sure. at least... No, exactly two darts are remaining. One in the gun and I think one on spare. It's the exact same NPC Swazi is trying to isolate right now, but the simple oh, KO oh, probably right. won't do the job. It was compromised, crime hey, noticed. Here are green guns because me. why not? It's most likely because of the servers, but really it might as well go as long as it's not red. I'm sadly worried that... Yep. This is the end of this run. And the chunks will not be used in the end, but of course it's a very loadout light spin. Fast with the grenade. Just going to wait out these 20 to 30 seconds until this snorkel instructor is in a position where he can be isolated. Just leaning forward to see the minimap. Uh, I don't see any bodies out in the open. Steven might be out. But uh, he's in the bathroom, all the way in the toilet. So, Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven Island. Snorkel instructor won't see anybody. That's for sure. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the and right. And any GRBs or such are avoided. And that's the last Fine guy day, for Fusk. The last thing remaining here is <laughs> picking up the correct disguise. Now this is. Really annoying when there are two bodies, the two different disguises, and you appear with the third one. Sometimes it takes a while to get the right one going. Hello, sir. A loud kill remaining in the villa, but the way fast has set this one up, there will be enough space. All he needs is one more body to be hidden there. The bodyguard is fine to be left out. I think ideally, after the kill, he will take the Nunchus Pass in disguise and he will be able to make his way, but it's a predict too much. Let's just see how it goes. It's something that's not been done a whole lot. I'm just going back to the beginning when I said that Fask is known for his good and interesting strategies. Already in this journey, he showed something for Dubai and now in Haven, this is not the first time he's doing this. And we'll be most likely netting him a win. But we need to be careful here because hostile area and he's looking to trank someone by the other NPC. We we'll still spot him and compromise him if it goes to that. There are some bushes around. That gets the shot going. And he can make it all the way to the jacuzzi room. There is the HX, which is allowed SMG, no doubt about that one. And I think for safety, Fusk is looking to get some disguise shuffling going on. Probably wants to get this disguise inside. This place has been war hacked from the bottom in the past, and it's not something the New Haven change would fix it, as long as he stays near the toilet. He should be good to go now. Mr. Reaper, welcome to and I don't Island. really expect oh, to them to Mr. hear this shot from below, welcome so it's Haven. Here is the key for your as safe as it can be. Fast with the last kill setting up. 
There's the kill immediately body found on the maid, which is strength, and the other NPC that could be troublesome is this bodyguard who is now naked but still sedated by the bubblegum. Two reinforcers around and one closed door to go through. This is going to be potentially really difficult for Fuss. Can only hope that one of these two enforcer dots turn off soon rather than later or just wait until he's going down and that that's going to be Fusk's as exit. 11.30 on the clock and in the next 30 seconds he will be able to exit with the seaplane taking Haven Island. It is very nice. Jacuzzi last kill. Oh, he's going back to take the key, which is not enforced by the Villa Guard. I think if you are Villa Guard, then uh, his mate is enforcing you, but it's not the case for this bodyguard and fast with the finish takes Haven Island. Chichis to Fusk. And uh, thanks to Colored Lonely mentioning the, the win rate before, now it's the 7-7, seven, seven, so going back to the perfect 50%, or well, like not the gameplay-wise perfect, but I think it's just very aesthetic to see. And just another well done Haven by Fask. He's obviously one of the veterans of this game, goes to show by the fact that he has played Mendoza 10 times, which is going to be our second map here. And Smessy's first ever Mendoza appearance. But they have picked it for a reason, and we cannot wait to see what they have prepared for this. As this is the only match for Group B, I think. We are fine with checking out what the stakes are here, so they won't change during these maps. There, are, there is nothing else that I need to discuss here. And of course, there is always a chance that challenge doesn't want to load, and we are just denied of the updated standings after the match. But here we have it. These are two players who are now officially eliminated, but in an incredibly tense group. And I think even for Pride and for one more win, it's just going to be really exciting to see Fusk and Svezi. <laughs> Welcome, Blunt. No, just the map one is over, and I'm not a briefing person, so I'm like doing this boring thing to talk about things before maps. And this time around, it is going to be the group standings, in which Fusk is in sixth place with 12 points and two wins. Svezi has two points, but is yet to win a match. Svezi is looking to overtake It's the Alex. And Fusk can finish all the way up to 5th place, but it is now the 5 player fight between Yanni, Reaper, Nezuko, Fenium and Cabin for those 4 spawns. Regardless, I think, or on the contrary, this could, some, this could mean some nice plays without the pressure of advancing or relegating. But yeah, here is the exact situation and it's probably the reason why no one ever <laughs> changed the scenes so that everyone is aware of what the situation is. Fusk taking Haven Island and we are just before the second map, two and a half minutes to go until Mendoza. It's a busy day for sure for Roulette, it's a busy weekday. If all things go well, if all things went well, we would have finished nine matches. We already know that it's going to be one fewer than that, because Rocky Horse vs. Zero on the first match of the day didn't go all the way after the first map. Well, during the first map, but especially after Zero's internet just wasn't enough to be streaming there. But we have uh, two finishes so far, and at least three matches going on at the same time. I do think it's actually three. Uh, yep. Yeah. Now, now it's officially three because Soviet versus Mikulars is going on with a no commentary stream on twitch.tv slash Mendo GB. And there's of course our match here and Group C is also live with Kule versus Rocky, which is actually a really important match. Whoever wins that one is looking 
very good to advance from group C. That is the Blight Abramedi Zerun group. So lots of action and that is far from the end of the day. Mostly my group, Group G, will be playing a couple more matches. And then Kalame vs. Leopark from Group H, rounding off the day. One more minute until this Mendoza spin arrives. And uh, <laughs> I think this is the new challenge from Fasky. The brother from another brother, I believe. And he even showed the challenge details, but I was talking about other stuff, so I could not remember what the prerequisites are for the Agent 17 suit. I'm not really good with the pre-World of Assassination lore, but of course it's an iconic suit of World Games past. Oh, and even Svezi showed it for a second, actually just trolling me there. Agent, get prepare yourself. Dual starts you in 10 seconds. I think eliminate both nine, targets from the sniper. Nine, eight, seven, mm -hmm. six, six, five, sniper four, range, but four, three, there won't two, be double snipers two, here. One, there will be one firearm the here target. for the spin at least. Danny it's Slug Shotgun in the suit. Tomorrow with a flawless tank you musician. Not an easy one, not a quick one. Not easy because of the conditions and not quick because of the tank you musician. Svezi is in immediately. If it's because of the pre-planned start of, I could imagine, waiter start always because of there's the free waiter in the wet, wet caves, but Svezi starting parking lot for the uh, for the ability to keep the suit, and that can be potentially a quick dawn kill. And Fusk will be starting waiter. Probably looking to get a quick Tamara ISO, which is lining up nicely with a 4 kill. It is still a scary one regardless, as she will have to be dragged through a public area, but there are so few eyes around. Usually a successful grab there, and no thrown distractions just yet. Fask is placing a coin to delay Tamara. And a couple more bumps should make her be the only one in this area. And she will react for the coin. Now I heard Diana very well, but I can't hear the game you game audio, but let's just imagine that Tamara did say, hmm, what's that? And just investigated the coin, and that's the isolation. Mr. Yates, it's Darren, sir, from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. After this, I don't think Fuss can make the timing with the wetsuit, so just looking to get any isolation, any disguise. Gracias, senor. How are you? Yeah, nice awareness of this enforcer of the hostile area, and even going to get a nonchalant passing disguise for easier access. It is allowed AR, but. It's not why he got this disguise. I couldn't believe it when she left the agency to go into politics. Just potentially to to get the grab or, or get the ISO. On Dawn, and it will involve a long range seeker angle. For which he will have plenty of time because he did trigger this conversation quite late. There are no whooshes, but it's still an illegal action, which could have been spotted by Valentina, but... Look like that one hit. And I can see the movement on the minimap, so that's looking good for Fask. I think this is now the moment when he's rushing down to get the wetsuit. It's a bit far away. Is it 60 seconds back and forth? I think that's the main question. I think it will be tight either way. He has a sea snail here, which is, uh, yeah, it's almost you? mandatory to use it here. He has multiple items to, to make this one quicker. He's worried about the enforcers, but he's also losing plenty of time for the seeker timing. You, 
no this this is wild and especially with the snail and the emetic device in the inventory that snail won't have enough range unless they walk closer and that will detonate with at least one KO but not two Svezi on the other hand making good progress here at least tomorrow wasn't made six so it's just a thing you mission gram it's just going to be hard to see how Svezi can get this four kill on her with a seeker shot it's also possible to get the kill it will just require a longer grab Uh, not grab, a longer drag uh, down those stairs near the lection area and the barrel room. Let's see if that Come will on. be the case. Fast gets the disguise, but the time that has been passed. Oh, luckily for Fast, Don is going back to the balcony. And they seem to continue the. <laughs> Conversation from the same line. I, that might just be a coincidence there, but I think Fusk is looking really good to get the isolation. I wonder what the peekaboo will be for because Valentina can't be on this roof, sadly. But going the long way around. It's hard to say really, because it could be either the gas device at this point or the other seeker and Fask himself isn't sure on it. Just wants to use the seeker more likely, but he calls her wife to investigate. It's an almost peekable on the way. I was also blinded by the fact that I wanted Fusk to hit the Seeker shot so hard. It's not even a drowning kill, it was just a Seeker for the isolation, but the isolation is all that matters. And Fusk is dragging Don all the way to the bathroom now. With the loud shotgun, it should be in hand. It should really be in hand because former chair of the applied science division this is going to be a for being a, a loadout item and if you can bring it in with the loadout then it might as well be the concealable sawn off let's not forget about Svezi either he's really stalking tomorrow hopefully getting an isolation on the way but it's just going to be really hard. He has the correct disguise though, which is some time we spent for sure. Me. Any idea why? You know why. Trust is oh no, did Fusk... Until I think it was just stuck upstairs. Not sailing under a false flag, I will be his eyes How many have oh never mind, he... I thought he, were looking, he was looking for the, the briefcase, but... He already got the shotgun out of it, so no problems there. And he made it soundproof from shooting from above. And that's an important first skill done with Tamara already isolated. So it's just the Tengu musician to go, as well as the actual four kill. Little rouge there on the patio. Or was it, is it the foyer? I'm not exactly sure anymore. He can get back an unjust pass in disguise with a little rouge. He's just hoping to get, hoping to not get a full rouge or a peekaboo because this NPC is KO. But Fusk is back in the clear past this door. And from this point on, it's just thank you musician to grab, which is going to be a minute of waiting. Unless some, some nice and ridiculous isolation is found on the musicians. Svez is, I, I think he's not concealed. Or he is luckily. It's always a game of chance in Mendoza, but gets the Seeker shot down. And I think this could be a really powerful ISO, because once she 
she's going to go to the bathroom as always that looks bad. You okay? and going to go through the area which is near divine cave and that's a um, very handy little dump spot so says he'd be looking good to get this iso and the kill around the six and seven minute mark that is just going to be one guard to take care of because now at this part of the run Okay. Well, the two will be following her. No, no, no. Good awareness by Swazi to not enter that room as long as the lady is turning towards I said petroleum, not mint. the door. Ah, oh, this is so hard because needs to enter, but he's also trespassing. He gets it now, but still needs the two chaos. And I think Swazi missed the window of opportunity here. And he doesn't hear the coin either, that's troublesome for Svensi. As far as Tamara is concerned, he will have to wait out the animation, but I think this was all so close because the card saw the, the briefcase flying in the air. Why would you leave Svensi like still find Tamara finds a body. Which will be turning into lockdown. Svezi is trapped here. It's such an awkward place. But once this car turns around, the target lockdown begins. But no one is there to enforce. There is someone. Someone is outside. I I think Svezi got away with it. We can see there is one NPC dot who <laughs> didn't notice anything from this uh, these shenanigans. I just so wish that we could see more of this run because while we are chatting about this one, Fuzz gets a very nice fall kill on Tamara. No questions about that one. With the green guns, he will be looking to get this Tango exit. And... Yep, she should be there for a potentially sub-10 run. To, to win the match, going into the final mandatory map. But uh, that was some very nice developments from Fask and Svezi, who is now himself not exactly sure how to get this for a kill perhaps, but the way he saved it and this could still go on and on. If Fask would have ripped, I think Svezi has a good chance to, to finish this one in the next 3-4 to four minutes with the suit that he started it and of course the loud shotgun which can the agency pick up. Uh, this is about the end of the map. I think the score will be given before we see this 4 kill. If you see any 4 kill, he's very about, worried about those two. Who are not really roaming anymore, so I think he should be good to go. And this should be about... about 10 minute mark where Svezi gets this Tamara kill but of course with points are already given out just give us the chance to see the green guns again that would be refreshing to see uh, yep just one kill behind uh, quite close Mendoza after all with different routes taken by different people won't see the end of this one, but we will see Bangkok as the last map of this match. Map number three and also three previous Bangkoks by Fasky. Zero on Swayze's side. I can look into the history a bit, although it's not a long history of Bangkoks or Fask. Two losses, uh, two wins and one loss. Positive win rate there. And we have to go back a lot. One full year to be exact to see 
Fusk vs. Blyde the previous time Fusk appeared in Benka. And I do remember that match actually loses back in round 3 against Blyde. The first map was Benka. And uh, people, or both of them, kept uh, losing to Ken Falling Object, which I think was second cycle and could have been related to some non target kills or unlucky timings. But in the end, Fusk got the map. Blyde won the match later on. The other two Bangkoks were the beginning of RWC21 and all the way down in RR5. But that was several patches ago, and more importantly, nothing before the Hematic patch, the new Hematic patch, I guess, the 2.0, which simplifies the can isolation a lot. To the point where I think the latter, latter lure will have its own niche spins and the good timings where you are better off just waiting for the latter timing. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, Smastic's sound just died to us. Uh, and with that my ears as well. Uh, so yeah, where was I? Easier can isolation. Sometimes the latter lure. And as long as the patch is new, I would imagine that uh, I would imagine that it's still possible to, to just look out for the latter timings. But these bathrooms are just so viable there. It's funny, Fusk going for this throwback Thursday on a Wednesday. And showcases a falling object there with a lockdown, but without uh, without keeping all this alive. Alright, I'm keeping an eye out on <laughs> Fusk's audio and we'll be joining him again after Diana stops talking. Until then we have the spin here, Jordan Cross shotgun as Abel the Silva, Ken Morgan pistol as a kitchen staff. Probably, yeah, the conditions aren't hard. It might be hard to find the loadout for the two firearms and your pneumatic of choice, but don't really think it would be any problems. This would be one of the few spins where Jordan first makes a lot of sense. Abel is allowed all the way up to the top floor. So by starting later, you could be you could be rushing Silva and get him at the 30 second timing. And by 130 you could have a, a peekaboo or, or or some specific distraction on Jordan and get him down with the shotgun. But of course it may also be fine to start with Ken. Nobody gets in or out except for two to, to spare you one of the back and forth as best he gets. Spotted chest passing by the tiniest of margins. It's probably the more unique spins when it involves Abel because it just just allows for so different timings. Abel himself is uh, someone who, who just makes these spins more difficult but rather different because he works with different timings. And it will be second try for Fusk as well after failing this chain lore. But not a long restart at all. Svezi's minimalistic loadout contains the pistol, the shotgun, and I think some coins other than that. He's looking to get this ISO no loadout. Jordan is biting. The second time around and Fusk will get this chainer done also known as old by about the 45 second mark. And so th this is the moment where you can really go either way. You can really quickly go for the letter, uh, dodge the enforcers you need to dodge because it's, it's a bit more difficult as the recording crew and potentially get the can I so 
and I can't kill down here because this pistol is really not a heavy item by 2 minutes 2.30 or you can just go for a more flexible loadout oh as fast gets the lock on on the wrong person for the second time around but keeps being guns or you can just be more flexible and isolate can with the emetics uh, for which fast has the uh, the ambrose grenade which is just so much more satisfying to throw and hit Svezi as the kitchen staff is looking for some isolation here a coin throw will get both this away so there will be some distance between him and Ken another coin oh wow uh, Ken is really interesting in that position of course some BIP behavior oh but Ken is out of range otherwise I think this would have been a vertical lure up here I think actually sure if it works with coins I think I've seen Soviet get this with micro audio Said it won't happen this time, not this cycle. So Svez is set back a little, especially with no emetic items. For Fusk, it is now time to use a banana and a few coins. <laughs> Three exactly in a nice arc around this balcony. And he should be walking over the banana before reaching the third coin. Can you see the second one though? He should really. Yeah. Fast could just wait the extra few seconds. There's a drop. The body can even be found. But it really isn't a worry. Not in this room. Not with the roulette timings. So it is now all the way back for Jordan. Get the shotgun kill and down to get the kitchen stuff and the can I so which can still be a letter but now of course the second cycle and the five and a half minute or like low five minute timing of the second cycle if I'm not mistaken but in reality I'm just trying to subvert the <laughs> expectations of using that Ambrose grenade which very likely to happen in a minute's time Briefcase next to Jordan. Silent skill. But Fusk will make sure that he is hidden and won't ever be found. Oh, he did, did have some sound on my end, but <laughs> I think he just. We are just uh, very close to the gun go off. Fast with the first kill down and we'll keep the shotgun for evidence. Uh, he does not have a kitchen staff yet, but he's, he has another bodyguard to grab. Which is the disguise with the most success, I want to say, but the most enforcer. And he's kind of trapped here and somehow Fast gets away with murder. Wow, that was really close there. Really important for this spin and for Fusk's map win. Because Ken still has his own tricks, especially with the isolation, but I think leaving the Jordan part of the map was the final key for this spin. It's not a worry to get a kitchen stuff up here, indeed, or down there, near the kitchen. On either side. Around this time, he's still in the bathroom. We can see it on the minimap that he's leaving. There are two NPC dots there. Oh no, we weren't seeing. We were seeing these two. Sorry about that. I was getting too excited. But yeah, around this time, I suppose there's no one else. In those kitchen, uh, in, in those toilets. In about one minute, if you'll see the white shirt uh, visitor getting back to the bathroom. 
if you get more familiar with these NPCs as you play more and more Bangkok with the new patch. Of course, they always existed, but they become more relevant now. So I think Fusk is looking to get an angle on Ken now with the grenade. Trying to see which NPCs go where. There's also Jackie Carrington who will be making an appearance, but she doesn't go all the way to one of the bathroom stores. She just checks herself in the mirror and I think leaves after about a minute or so. But this is something to be very safe about either way. This is a... Oh, this was a bit scary for me because it's a functioning mirror. But it was thrown from an angle and Jackie scaled without green guns lost. You can end many runs there though by not paying enough attention for that KO. Fask will be even more safe by hiding these two NPCs before making Ken sick. And I think making Ken sick, considering that he's about to do just that, the, uh, he's doing the right thing by by hiding him, hiding them. Of course, it won't even make the timing difference against Svezi, who had a couple restarts. We didn't talk about that. Yeah, but this looks like it is Fusks to lose, who He's a bit unsure how to proceed, but the Emetic Gas Grenade will always bring him to a bathroom. Hello there. He might be thinking that it's cycle dependent, he doesn't want to see NPCs enter the area. So we are just back waiting for a bit. I'm not sure what the Shotgun is four. Yeah. Honestly, a little bit unsure what's about to happen on fast side. I think fast just really wants to make sure that and goes to a toilet and he hasn't had time to to fully check if any part of the cycle works. And to that the answer is basically yes. There is a 5-10% to 10 of the route after leaving the reception area when he can go to the basement. But anywhere else he's made sick. Can we go to these bathrooms which are now Absolutely and fully empty and clear and no more NPCs should arrive there. Not to our timing knowledge anyway, of course. The weirdest things can happen after 15 or so minutes. Important shot for Fusk or <laughs> the throw of the grenade which hit at the very least can. And I don't think anyone else was struck by it. Under these circumstances, Morgan's bodyguard will follow Ken until he starts puking and then goes back to lean against the wall. And I just hope that Fusk doesn't try to make this too safe. Good timing with the KO. And no lockdown. First try hit with the Krugermeyer. And after 10 minutes we have both kills down. It's just the run to the exit door will close automatically I'm pretty sure so I think this is it for Fusk we have seen one enforcer near the restaurant area but instinct hammered on there will be no problems and even if one more NPC goes to those toilets 
the loud pistol wasn't pick, uh, Fast didn't pick up those loud pistols. So that will stop the NPC anyway. There's the finish from Fusk. And there will be the 6 0 win by the Dan Denmark. By the Danish man. Oh my god. Try to be too fancy there, but Fusk wasn't trying to be too fancy. And just that safe second try won him Bangkok. Uh, Score then. 6 to 0. If the lady says so, then it is official. And uh, unless I was a bit too quick there, but I wasn't. Fusk is up to 18 points after this final match. Svezi has two more to go. and He's on currently on two, but still two more chances to win a match. It's just a really tough group for Fusk and Svezi there, but sixth and potentially eighth. Still some nice showing from them. I do believe I have a lot to, lots of matches to choose from. Soviet Nuclears and Gure Rocky are still ongoing, and I think Joker J is the one with an actual cast with commentary, so we are going there. Uh, thank you, Yanni, for admining. GG to the players, and thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.